I'm I'm sitting here with my wait, mom. Wait, wait. <laughs> Look at the little one. Sitting here with my mom, and we were talking basketball. Come on. Talking about high school basketball, and she said a player's name that should have played on my high school team that just blew my mind. Who was you talking about? I was talking about Eddie. Eddie B. All right. Had to go find something. Scour the internet for Eddie Brown. I couldn't find any pictures, I don't think. Let me, let me look one more time. Yes, yeah, no no images of Eddie Brown. But I did find, find an article that mentioned him. Again, if you don't know, Eddie Brown was a, a, a great prospect coming out of Indianapolis, Indiana, from the west side of Indianapolis, playing on the Pike High School Red Devils team that won the first state championship in 1998 for Pike High School. So let's see what they say. Okay, this is the Herald Times. You have to get up awfully early in the morning to catch Pike. This does mention Andy Brown, so I had to find something that mentions him because he, he definitely was a great prospect. You have to get up awfully early in the morning to catch Pike. Andy Graham, the Herald Times. Again, this is my team that I'm on in 1998 winning Pike's first state championship. It says Pike Red Devils arose so early in the morning last summer, they're not ready to put their season to bed just yet. After Pike worked hard during his Tuesday practice at Indiana's Assembly Hall site of today's semi-state, the Red Devil seniors gathered to talk about the preseason hard work, which is now paying off. We got up at like 6 a.m. all summer, said me, six foot six senior forward Rodney Smith, a Purdue recruit and certifiable Indiana all-star candidate. No way uh, were we going to let anybody get in our way after we put all that work in. We wanted to make the most of the season, but I didn't really see what our team might become until those first two or three games. What Pike has become is a 25-1 and juggernaut, which has already avenged its only loss by sidelining North Central in the sectional and carries tournament-tested momentum into today's 12.30 p.m. semifinal against Ben Davis. Pike coach Alan Darner noted that a big reason the Red Devils have reached such heights is his senior class, featuring me, Smith, 6'2 scoring guard Isaac Kincaid, who he went to Illinois State, 6'4 pivot man Mike Campbell, had a great career overseas, and 6'2 reserve C.J. McClyman, who is a great fireman in Pike Township right now. So shout out to C.J. Uh, you win with seniors. If they're really dedicated and really wanted, Darner said, great coach, Alan Darner. If they're here to set a good example, good things follow. That's been the case for us. These guys were coming in in the morning and working hard. When you do that sort of thing, you don't want to let all that go to waste. And I don't think these guys have. They're, they've done a pretty good job of turning all that work into results. The Red Devils tournament results include wins over number seven Noblesville on its home floor and number one Anderson on its home floor. I like a hostile crowd, actually, Smith said. I think it gets us even more fired up, Kincaid smiled and added. Yeah, really, you want to shut them up. The semi-state semifinal is a, at a neutral site and is essentially a game among friends. Ben Davis and Pike are adjoining school districts. Players from both sides have grown up together, have been AAU teammates. We've seen these guys before, Campbell said. It's like a neighborhood get-together. It makes it even more fun. Pike beat Ben Davis by 31 points earlier in the season, but Kincaid noted that the Red Devils are on their guard. You can't take anybody lightly at this level anyhow. Everybody's here for a reason, McClyman elaborated. Ben Davis has improved a lot. They're pretty young, and like a lot of young teams, have gotten better as the season has gone along. Not everything was smooth sailing as the season went along for Pike. Smith missed a couple games to injury. Senior point guard Eddie Brown was sidelined for academic reasons. We've had some downs to go with our ups, Smith said. One of our guards, a guy we were counting on, flunked off. We've had some adversity, but I think we're playing really well now, right now. Brown's absence just meant more minutes for freshman guard Chris Thomas, who played at Notre Dame, y'all. Chris Thomas was cold. So that's what I was saying to my mom. Like, Chris Thomas would have stayed on the bench if Eddie Brown was still playing. Eddie Brown was cold, y'all. This was his junior year. He was, he was a great prospect coming. I wish he was able to stay on the team because you guys would have heard of him going to college just like uh, Chris Thomas, who is a assist leader at Notre Dame. Wow. Great time. Shout out to Eddie B and his family, Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown. 
Love all of y'all. Eddie B. I mean, if, if y'all had had him on the day that they suspended him, y'all would have beat North Central. That's and y'all would have been 31 and 0. That's right. But you didn't have him because of coaching. Wasn't Eddie B. good, Mom? He was excellent. He was the only one that threw me an alley-oop? Yes. He would get the ball to Rod Smith. <laughs> And he could get his own shot. He had a nice yes. jumper. He could play yes. defense. He did it all, didn't he, he Mom? Did it all. We Eddie loved B. Eddie. We loved Eddie B. Yes, we did. <laughs> Do you remember Eddie B? Man, he's one of the coldest guards. I thought he was better than Chris Thomas. Man, yeah. that's a good one. Yep, a lot better. So, yeah. But he, now, you know, that just shows our coaching can just destroy kids. Oh, yeah. If Eddie B was there, Chris would have came off the bench. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yep. Left hand, right hand, he played year round. Yep. So, yeah. I just hope he's playing. You got somebody playing right now, one of his kids. Pro, I think one of his sons was really good, I yep. think. But show, I don't know. Show him how to play. But, yeah, he had a good family. So Eddie B. Yep. So I hope <laughs> he'll be going well, man. Hey, I, we remember Eddie B. Eddie B. <laughs> yeah, I, I could. That blew my mind. I had to get my phone out. I was like, Mama, you got to say this on camera. People ain't going to believe you remember Eddie B. Oh, Eddie B was cold, y'all. Yeah. Look, he would Eddie. make sure you would get that ball, and that's what I love. You know what to do. You, hey, you was going to throw it down. That's true. <laughs> See, yeah, that's why I love Eddie B, too. He was going to give me the ball. He could get his own shot. He could throw me a oop. Man, I, man Eddie B. <laughs>